up, you guys? Good early, early morning, you early guys. Early morning. <laughs> Isn't it a good morning? We left at 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we are already dead tired. Yeah. We have one of the <laughs> longest travel days that we've done in a while coming 14 up. 14 hours, baby. Oh my goodness. We just got to 14 hours. Miami International mm -hmm. Airport. My cute parents got up this morning, you guys, at 3.30 to take us. They drove us an hour to get here. They were so sweet. Mm -hmm. My gosh, we were like, we'll take an Uber, we'll take an Uber. And they're like, no, 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 we insist. Yeah. So that was super nice of them. We Finn was whining like crazy. Oh, it was so sad, you yeah, guys. He was sitting sad. in the car with my mom and she's like, he's crying. <laughs> it broke my heart. I just got the phone with her and she's like, he's doing great. He's all snuggled in with her. Mm -hmm. Honestly, he's going to be in heaven with them. It's so nice of them to watch him so he's taken care of. Yeah. But it is so sad that we are leaving them. They are here another week while we are gone. So they're going to soak up the sun here in Florida, but I'm just sad that I'm not gonna be with them. But our last day yesterday with them was actually pretty fun. We went to the beach, we hung out there for a couple hours. We, did we just do, enjoyed our time together. It was awesome. We did awesome. do a ton of vlogging, you guys. We just wanted to soak in that time with them. We had an awesome dinner last night. So anyways, it was so special yeah. to be with them this past week. But now we are off to the big island, which I'm yeah. so excited about. <laughs> I have never been. I went once before when I was a little kid. Well, this is gonna be a whole new experience for us. You guys, we have so many fun things planned. As you guys know, we are going for Jared's work adventure hunt. So it is a work trip, so that'll be involved, but don't you worry, we will make sure there is a ton of fun things to show you. Got on board our first leg. <laughs> then Hawaii, baby. And I hope you brought your phone. Yeah. There's no <laughs> screen. So that's kind of cool. You can put your phone yeah. there. Luckily, we downloaded a lot of stuff from Netflix. Oh my gosh. So I had no idea that you could download stuff from Netflix. Lifesaver. I am going to be watching Friday Night Lights. I downloaded <laughs> oh, three seasons of that. So I'm Two. pretty excited about that. <laughs> so just get situated right now. We don't have anyone in the middle, but we will see. Okay, you guys, we made it to Arizona. Phoenix, baby. It's hot here. It is hot. Just kidding, we don't know. We're, <laughs> we're in air conditioning. We're in the know? airport. But I've never actually been to this airport. I see a few mountains. So we have about 20 minutes. Our flight is actually starting to board. We're kind of near the back on this one. That last leg was brutal. And we have this leg is going to be longer than that one. Since we've been up since 3.30, we're like half awake on yeah. here. Just to some <laughs> ibuprofen. The restaurants here were slammed. I was just so hoping we'd have enough time to like sit down, have a real meal, but sadly we don't. So this is what we were having for lunch. We gotta take it on the plane with us. We got like a little charcuterie thing. Mm. Some little sandwiches, a Coke. We got some barbecue chips. Half Here, a got salad. A salad. We got all of our stuff charging on here. We do have a long flight ahead. Yeah. And one interesting thing with American Airlines, I didn't know this. This is kind of my, I feel like my first time flying them in years, mm -hmm. but they don't have TVs in their plane. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers. We can get a little bit of rest on this leg because when we get to Hawaii, it's going to be, I think, what, around four o'clock in the afternoon, which, which is, is nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Four to time, so anyways, <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, you guys, but we are so excited. So we're gonna hurry, get everything packed up, and then head on that flight. <laughs>
landed in Hawaii. Woo! Guys. We're actually in the parking lot right now. We literally just got out of the airport, oh which is the gosh. smallest, coolest airport I've ever seen. It's so cool. It's one of those ones that you pull up and there's like the walkway off of the yeah. jetway where you land. So everything's really outside. Cool. There's really like no like walls to the entire yeah, airport. Everything's outside. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the beautiful Hawaiian mountains yeah. behind us. Oh my gosh, the mountains. I have not seen that in a while. In fact, we were flying in, you guys. We saw snow on the top of the mountains. It was snow. It was crazy. This island is a lot bigger than the other ones because usually oh, you can almost see the entire massive. island of yeah. the other ones when you're flying towards uh -huh. it. This one you cannot. It is big. Hence why it's called the big island, right? So it is going to be so <laughs> fun to go explore, take you guys along <laughs> with us. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Right. Now we are just finding our rental car. Oh yes, yeah. so we rented a car on Turo. I believe that's what it's called. And it's our first time doing anything like that before. But I hear it's like kind of like becoming the norm. We hear really great things. So many of you don't know this. So Jared and his brother Sean own Adventure Hunt, the company Ew. we're here for. So we are gonna be with Sean a bunch of this trip and his girlfriend Darby. Oh, oh. But she is the absolute sweetest. You guys will get to meet her. Oh. And so it is gonna be really fun just to spend time together. Is this it? That's it right there, baby. That's our chariot. Oh, you yeah. For this retreat, you guys, they have rented the most incredible house we are <laughs> Guys, we cannot at. wait to show you this house. Like, it is insane how cool it is. The pictures and everything. <laughs> Sean has stayed there before. This yeah. This will be Jared and I's first time, but oh my it gosh. looks crazy. It so looks gonna, it crazy incredible. We're really stoked beautiful. to show you. So yeah, you guys, we cannot wait to share this trip <laughs> with all of you. Okay guys, we did not make it that far from the airport when we saw this. Now Holy it feels cow. like Hawaii, you guys. Look at this. We are this standing is incredible. on like black volcanic <laughs> What do you call that? Ro volcanic rock. Volcanic rock. Yeah. Like with the beautiful waves right oh here. Oh my the gosh. In the background. <laughs> like this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This, whoa. The waves are crashing right there. That is insane. You guys, driving up here, there were mountain goats. Yeah. Like all on these rocks everywhere, these wild mountain goats. Like this is crazy. This is right where the planes fly. The airport, you can see it. It's right here. It literally flies right over us. So we've been watching the planes come in. Oh, it is so cool. It's so cool, you guys. This is definitely going to be a pretty awesome this week. This is going to be incredible. <laughs> so if you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button right now because we got some awesome stuff coming your guys' way. Guys, that is a wild goat right there. Oh, oh my cool gosh. Oh my gosh, a Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. There's so many. They're so cute. It's a full-on family. Just walking down the streets like a local. <laughs> Wait, okay. you gotta see right through here. Oh guys, this is awesome. Right there is a cruise there. ship right there. Beautiful water. <laughs> right in front of us is this gorgeous old church. Oh yeah, this church is so cool. <laughs> we were just talking, Hawaii just has that just like oh, Hawaii has like island carefree. Oh cool yeah. Feel. It has such There's a cool vibe here. Like we've only been here less than an hour and I'm already blown away. <laughs> yeah, we've already fallen in love with this place. <laughs> I cannot wait just to explore everything. We decided we were gonna go get some acai bowls though for dinner. Oh yeah, nothing better than some Hawaiian acai bowls. I know I'm a little backlit, but just look where we are right now. That's a cruise ship right there. So this is a cruise port for the Hawaiian Islands. There's cruises that go along the Hawaiian Islands, stop at each one of them. And here in Kona is one of the cruise destinations. We're so used to seeing cruises leave out of Fort Lauderdale, see one here in Hawaii. That's just like a totally different story. It's so cool. And this is kind of like the main strip, the main drag in Kona alongside the ports, which is Sir, just could you really- stop videoing, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so the acai place is closed, but we found the next best thing. Oh, go with me. Okay, look at all this. We got a pina colada. <laughs> this is a soft serve mango that's amazing. And this might be the best mango smoothie I've ever had. Fresh mm. mango, so good. So this is actually guava. Oh, that's guava. Guava. Oh, it's so really delicious. Good. We're sitting right across the beach. The ocean is just right there. All these cute little shops in here. Man, happy camper. Right Welcome now. to Hawaii, babe.
Smoothies were delicious and we came just in time to see the sunset. Our first Hawaiian <laughs> sunset, you guys. Jared just took the drone up. Oh my uh, goodness. It does not disappoint. It's awesome here. We are looking at catamarans, <laughs> a huge cruise ship. <laughs> it's so cool. The waves are coming. There's all these little, what do you call these little things? Permit crabs. No, but just like little, oh, tide pools. Oh, tide pools, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the hermit crabs yeah. of a guy because that yeah. like a starfish thing. Like, it, it was just, so cool. So cool. We so are cool. soaking this in. We are There's, so tired, but I this know. is like the perfect, I mean, how can you not just be There's guys right that like on e-foils cruise around. It's <laughs> so dope here. Aloha <laughs> spirit already. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Aloha, everyone. <laughs> I just did the, what is it, Ting Lu song. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, welcome back to our channel. Woo! Welcome back to Hawaii, the oh, big island. Yeah. If you guys missed yesterday's video, make sure you go back and watch it. Oh, awesome. We, we had an incredible first night here. We landed, we made it through the night. We are doing a five hour time change. So, yeah, it was a little rough. bit tricky, especially for this guy, you guys. Yeah. Match out to him for editing and getting videos out to you. We are actually laughing because our first video went out at like six o'clock a.m. Yeah. Eastern time. It went out way too early. We woke up this morning like the video's been up for five hours. It was supposed to go out 6.30 Hawaiian time, which is 11.30 back in Florida, but oh it didn't pan out. Oh my gosh, anyways, we were <laughs> laughing, but you guys got the video early, so there you go. As you guys know, we are here for an adventure hunt. So basically, Jared and Sean are hosting a group of almost 30 people yeah. for the next week, yeah. week and a half, almost mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. and ensuring that they have an awesome time here on the Big Island, so I'm tagging along. <laughs> Sean is here, his girlfriend Darby, she's a sweetheart, you guys, you'll meet her here in a little bit. I am helping her in the kitchen with a lot of the cooking, so we are cooking some breakfast and dinner for that many people. So there's gonna be a lot of work into this, but it is gonna be fun. I mean, hello, we're on the big <laughs> island. So first things first, a bunch of the group arrives later tonight, but we need to go do a massive Costco haul. Okay, you guys, we are inside our first ever Hawaiian Costco, which is kind of fun. Yeah. There's a ton of different like island varieties here, mm -hmm. which I'm loving to see. Tons of different fruit snacks, different things like that, which is really fun. So right now we are getting all the food for the first five days. Yes. We're gonna do two major hauls during this trip. <laughs> so first is all the food for the first five days. So we're loading up, getting all the things. Darby created a list, so we're just checking things off. The boys are gonna get the drinks. We need a ton of drinks to load up at the house. So today is gonna be a busy, busy day, so we're just trying to get everything crossed off the list so we can be all set for the house and hopefully not have to come back oh, here yeah. in the next five days. Okay guys, so Sean and I have been tasked with getting the drinks, so we got another cart just for that, and he and I are gonna load up on drinks. They're probably gonna last us for the next five days for over 30 people. So we're gonna go hog wild on these drinks. <laughs> So my name's Sean, Sean Dingham. I'm Jared's brother. I don't vlog much, so am I doing it right? <laughs> Just kidding, we're doing a sick Costco haul. We took the same group to Panama last year. It was tons of fun. We're very excited for them to get here. The executives get here today, the big dogs. The rest of the crew comes tomorrow, so we're pretty excited. We are now supposed to divide and conquer when getting all this stuff. We now each have a cart that's going to be filled with my cart. Not gonna lie, it's pretty darn heavy. I'm having to push it with all my might. Leet has arrived. We got one cart. We got two carts. These are packed to the gills, people. Look how full these carts are. 
And then we got these two other carts right here. This is quite the haul for Costco. Holy cow. All right, you guys, we divided, we conquered. The boys got the drinks, the snacks. Driver day I went and got all the produce. This is like all produce, eggs. Look at all the pineapple, meat, breads. This is just insane. This is a massive haul. We got like five rotisserie chickens down here. Oh, wow. I don't Aloha. Know, you think it's bigger than our last haul, the one we did for oh, yeah. the youth group? Yeah, this is huge. This is huge. Well, I'd say mission accomplished here. Hello. <laughs> well, just finished up at Costco, folks. And we got quite the haul. All that stuff you see there, and then everything that I'm pushing right now. Look how much stuff we have. We got five carts worth. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> I will say these girls dominated with getting everything, everything organized. Sean and Darby have actually done this trip yeah. a couple times before. They're the masterminds behind this. But holy cow. So now we're gonna load up all of this stuff into this bad boy right here. I just pulled up to the house that we're staying at for the next few days and it's absolutely incredible. I want to show all of it to you guys right this second, but I'm going to wait until Brittany gets here, but you guys can kind of tell from just behind me. I mean, this is the house and we are pretty high up on the mountain and the view from the top is absolutely breathtaking. It is so insanely pretty and there's an infinity pool too. like. I can't wait to share this with you guys. It's gonna be amazing. So if you guys are not subscribed and you're watching us for the very first time, definitely hit that subscribe button right this second because you guys are not gonna wanna miss out on the next week's worth of vlogs. They're gonna be insane. So we got all the food right here. It did pretty well. There was a few things that kinda of fell behind as I went up this super steep hill. Then we also got some stuff back here. Everything did pretty well, it looks like. Then in the very front seat, we got the very fragile stuff. We got the eggs here. So the plan now is to take all of this stuff that's inside of the truck and haul it inside. Okay guys, we got everything unloaded out of the truck and Brittany actually just pulled up. Nick of time. <laughs> this place is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. Just driving up here, I, I like, know. Holy cow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's honestly like a dream in there. You're gonna love it. Hey, look at this. <laughs> I know, look at that. <laughs> right there. Welcome to your humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have to give you a full on house tour of this place because it is absolutely incredible. Holy look at that, you walk in, you have this massive grand entrance. Oh my <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you, sir. This is <laughs> you like it? This is incredible, holy cow. <laughs> So for those of you who do not know, this is Darby right here, Sean's better half. The cutest ever. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so we're gonna be spending a lot of time with these two. Oh guys. yeah, oh, oh. instant replay? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up for that. <laughs> All right, family channel, family channel. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I think we are gonna press pause here. We're gonna go do a house tour with these guys. They're gonna show us all around, but it is so awesome. We wanna make it its own video. So stay tuned for the full house tour here. Oh, what do we got going on in here, huh? Smells good, looks good. But I gotta show you guys this real quick. Check out this sunset out here. Wow. That is incredible. This sunset is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is just like breathtaking. There is like zero filter on this and it looks just amazing. I love this infinity pool, especially at like this time of the night, the golden hour, it just lights up. Like the colors are just so rich. Like, I mean, look at that right there. <laughs> wow. But that sunset though, oh my goodness. I just gotta show you guys this again. Wow. <laughs>
All right, guys, dinner was delicious. Oh, the girls knocked it out of the park. You guys, they made Greek chicken euros. I actually used my sister Michelle's recipe. She's made it many times for us, but so good. Pretty easy to feed a large crowd, so I am exhausted. Yeah, we we're, we're both, both exhausted. exhausted. After that Costco trip and yeah. just getting everything brought in, unpacked, hauled, then Darby yeah. and I actually went to another grocery store for other things, so yeah. today has been a little bit crazy. It's been way crazy, but look forward to the house tour coming up. Oh my gosh, this place is incredible. I know, look at this, look at this. All the darkness you see out there, that is the ocean. Yeah, that's the ocean. So the view during the day, the sunset was absolutely beautiful tonight. We were in there cooking and the sun was going down. <laughs> It was truly incredible. I mean, look at this like view right there. Like that's just dope. That's dope. It's so beautiful here. We just gotta soak it in, baby. It's kind of cool out here. It feels really nice. Yeah, it feels really good. It feels like Florida. Anyways, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for us tonight. We are exhausted, but stay tuned because we have some amazing stuff planned. Oh my gosh, they are gonna take us all over the island. So many amazing excursions, you guys. Buckle up. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a fun next it's, couple of days. It's gonna be awesome. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. You do not wanna miss out. And until next time, we love you and we'll see you later. today okay you guys we are staying in the big island in hawaii we are so excited we have been waiting to put out this video yeah and we are going to give you a tour of the amazing house we are staying in this house is absolutely massive there are so many bedrooms so many different parts to see and we're just like you know what we cannot squish this all into one video just, we have to give it its own video just look at i mean this. just look at the main like entrance area oh this is God. like the this is where you like drive up and park at. It's like an open garage. It is so big and you have all this parking space right here. There's a guest house over here. Then there's a private driving range right here. But the house is even better, you guys. Let's go see if anyone's here. Open sesame. Oh, perfect. Aloha. perfect. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, oh wow, okay. There is so much space. So this is like the main great room area. We got the fireplace here, kind of a cool little entertainment section here. Tons of games, stuff to do. Plenty of seating area, as you guys can see. It is honestly hard to get it all in just one frame. You guys are gonna have to go follow us over on Instagram to go see more behind the scenes of this home, but it is massive. I feel like the showstopper though is yeah. the amazing view. Speaking of the view, you guys, let's actually go take a peek. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow! Hey! <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe how nice and massive this entire property is. It is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, isn't it incredible? Are you kidding me? This we're staying, babe, for like the next two weeks. You guys look at the pool. Are you me? <laughs> this is insane. So this is a massive one continuous infinity pool that overlooks this amazing view. Sean just told us that this pool is actually 100 feet long. That is just incredible. Oh my, the top of the tree top. <laughs> we really are. Oh, We're Arizona. overlooking. It is awesome. I love this railing, by the way. The railing is all glass, so you can see straight through it. Okay, this is more of the great room down here. Wow, you guys are gonna see so much more of this in our upcoming vlogs, but now we're going to the backyard. Wow, look how massive these doors are. Oh my gosh. This totally makes like an indoor outdoor space. Oh my gosh. It totally opens up everything. Wow. <laughs> so the first time that Sean and Darby actually came here, it was for a private wedding and they had the wedding ceremony right here. And Jared, fun fact about that. Yeah. They finished the deck the day of the wedding. No way. We've been here for five days. And I yeah. said, look, we're gonna go away and do excursions every day. Come and just work on it while we're gone. Because we were gonna do it up there where you just were, but they were oh. here. So this is amazing. The day, and the railing wasn't there. There was no railing that day. Oh, that's so cool. We'll do like lay out here in the sun, do some push-ups, yoga stuff, whatever. I will definitely lay out those push-ups I'll leave to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Two outdoor showers. Oh. It's like no a good way. substitute for the hot tub, but the hot tub's full of 20 people. That is so cool. Uh, we've got barbecue and stuff over there. Holy cow. And, I cannot believe uh, how long this thing is. Here, Jared, and then we can go in there later. 
but there's actually a really nice guest house just up there. Wow. It's part of the property. That is insane. It's a separate apartment, two bedrooms, it's awesome. This is insane. You, can't <laughs> yeah, you cannot beat these views. Right right wow. That is so cool. This is all just like one pool, 100 feet long. So this is the kitchen where all the cooking is going to be taking place. Look how massive this gourmet kitchen it's is. It's amazing. This makes being in the kitchen a lot more fun. Just, oh just my say that. gosh. Oh, this, this is like a dream kitchen. This table, this is mango wood. Wow. And this is like one of the biggest single slabs of mango wood. On the island. Holy cow, it is huge. I feel like all 30 people can sit here. 75 inch TV behind you there. Oh my goodness. Huge pantry here. Look at this. All stocked up from the Costco haul. Wow. Oh there is so much oh, space in here. I'll let Sean show you his masterpiece. This is like MTV Cribs right here. It's like, <laughs> hey, look at our fridge. <laughs> We've got the fruit drinks. Wow. Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Waters, Propels, wow. EPs. Yes, that is perfect. <laughs> Look at the artwork in here. The swordfish made out of wood. And then right here, we have the Hawaiian Islands made out of wood. We've got two stalls, three sinks. Oh my gosh, there's actually stalls in here. There are actually stalls inside of this house. That is so crazy to think about. Oh no. I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, this was owned originally by a Japanese family. Obviously the Japanese are very big on bidets as well. So there's a bidet on every single toilet. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Is this? Oh my gosh. Wow. And they've got like nice rain showers. You got like the your own little rack in here. These locks. Like actually oh my gosh. Yeah. Guys, this house is like the coolest house we've ever seen. I haven't seen a bedroom yet, but uh, let's go check out the theater room. <laughs> I cannot believe this place has a theater room. Uh, by the wow. way, another bathroom here. Wow. This is just a little secret bathroom. Oh, all right, all right. So yeah, if you gotta do your business right you here, this find, is the one to do it at. Jared in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. What? Look at this theater room with recliners. That is so Holy cool. cow. I love the freaking cheetah. Yeah. This, this, this one is, is crazy looking. And Holy moly. It's like a jungle in here. There's so much seating for everyone. Super comfortable and they're all recliners. Oh, I love that. So this is our first bedroom that we've seen. Wow. It's one of the nice Dang. ones. It has its own bathroom. Not all the rooms have their own bathrooms. That is a really nice shower. That's cool looking. Because we've got nice. the big, nice shared bathrooms, but some of them have their own. This one's got two beds. One of them on this trip will probably go to waste, but that's okay. <laughs> if anyone watching wants to hurry and fly out, <laughs> come join us. Forget about subscribing. Just come fill this bed right here. Oh, look at that. The storage area. Beach beach house. House. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like you can legitimately get lost in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at this in here. This is a full on shower jacuzzi. Like, how many people can fit in there? The amount of detail inside of this house is wow. really incredible. Hey, and that's Darby's favorite shower. You can sit down. Oh. And then there's a shower head, and then there's also the one like room full on. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the biggest room. This is my favorite room. All right, let's go first. see the favorite room. Okay. Very simple, but. Oh, wow. All the way wow. So Look at these plantation up. shutters with this amazing view of Kona. View everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, on to the bigger room. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoa. This room is massive. This room is huge. And it has its own like little mini bar, kitchenette area. I love the sliding doors. <laughs> yes. Love the sliding barn doors. That is so cool. Wow. That bidet is so rad. I love it. The amount of detail, like we were saying, it's just absolutely incredible. The doors, just everything inside of this house. And then it, it leads out to this. This is incredible. Wow. Now that we're done with the main little mansion part here, we're gonna be going over to the guest house. This is 
the man little man. <laughs> Check out the size of this thing. I mean, this is the guest house. Look how amazing this is. Super open floor plan, plenty of seating for entertaining. This amazing kitchen. Look at this like custom made kitchen with a wrap around and it actually comes complete with two bedrooms. This is the first bedroom. One thing I got to point out real quick is the ceiling. Look at the ceiling lights inside of this guest house. You'll actually see that out here as well. It's very custom. Then moving on to the other bedroom. Again, super cool ceiling fan. And then that light, oh, I just love it. And then moving into the bathroom here. Man, the bathrooms here are just absolutely incredible. So spacious, tons of room. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, it's gonna be very hard to leave this place at the end of the 10 days. I feel like we're being like super spoiled because this is just an incredible setup. That's not all though, you guys. This guest home also has an incredible lookout from the top. So there's a ton of seating up here on its own private patio. And then you have that beautiful overview of the ocean right there. Wow. I cannot believe how big this house is. Like what you guys just saw is just a half of the home. So we got four bedrooms down here and another bathroom. Laundry, we got looks like two washers, two dryers. There are so many beds. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. What a sweet setup. Down here, you guys, we have one bedroom, we have two bedroom, and we have three bedroom. Oh my goodness. There are so many beds inside of this mansion. So for those of you that know, we are gonna have a group of, I believe, 28 here. Yeah, which is gonna so, be so there's fun. gonna be a lot of sleeping areas. But I feel like it's big enough you don't feel cramped. Like, this is incredible. This place is absolutely incredible. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we're gonna get some really cool shots of this oh place. Oh my gosh, when the, when the clouds <laughs> go away, you see the beautiful blue ocean out there, the sun sets, we are gonna have such oh an incredible two weeks ahead here. These doors open up so big that all of them do that I think I'm gonna fly the drone literally from the front yard all the way through the house oh out through gosh. the back. That's gonna be It's cool. gonna be sick. Wow. <laughs> so if you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button right now because we have some awesome stuff coming up your way. You guys, I can't even imagine leaving this house, but yeah. these guys have the most incredible excursion plan. Buckle up, it's gonna be a week of fun, not only here in this beautiful home, but on the beautiful island of Hawaii. <laughs> Get ready, it's gonna be awesome. Jared into this pool oh, right now. It's taking me everything to not jump in myself, <laughs> just voluntarily. It is absolutely amazing. We cannot wait for the week ahead. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out today. Hopefully you enjoyed this amazing house tour video. It's oh pretty incredible. Gosh. If you are interested in running the house, send us an email. We can give you all the details about it, but it is incredible. <laughs> all right, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for us today. We love you so much. Until next time, we'll see you later. Aloha. Aloha. What's up, you guys? Aloha! <laughs> you guys, I'm starting every Hawaiian vlog out saying aloha because... I know, I need to switch it up. I botched that one. Come on. <laughs> aloha! Guys, this is incredible. So we are standing on top of like this little balcony thing that you guys saw on the house tour yesterday. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not seen the house tour video of where we are saying, do your favor, <laughs> go watch that video. Yeah. It is absolutely incredible. This place is insane. It is so pretty up here. Look at this, Look at this view right here. This is Kona. <laughs> you have the whole view of basically like the city. That's downtown Kona over there. The ocean. Over here, we're just like the tops of the treetops. Oh my gosh. There are fruit trees all over this property. They said you can just go around and take fruit. There's avocados and tons of other like fruits. And there's bananas, there's coconuts. We kicked our morning off. Darby and I made breakfast for the group. We found me eggs, bacon, fresh pineapple. <laughs> oh, all the good stuff. 
mean, we're going to be having that every morning, every <laughs> meal, pretty much. Yeah. I can yeah, eat seriously. an entire pineapple by myself in Hawaii. <laughs> They're just so much better. They just taste better here in Hawaii. If you agree, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Today, you guys, we are kicking off the vlog with some really fun adventures. We're going to this place called Queen's Bath, <gasps> where it has like this lava tube that you can climb into. Oh boy. Near the beach. It's gonna be a first for Brit and I. It sounds amazing, you guys. So <laughs> only a small part of the group is here. The rest of the group gets here today. So we are doing that this morning, and then I think a lot of more people come this afternoon. We'll have a big dinner tonight with everyone. So it's gonna be an awesome day. First up on the docket today is a little lava tube. And when I say little, this thing is massive. So for those of you who do not know what a lava tube is, essentially lava actually flowed through here at one point and then it crusted over the channel. And so that's how a lava tube forms. This thing is huge on the inside. I say, let's go check it out. This is legitimately just a few feet from the road and it's about maybe a one minute, 30 second hike and it's incredible inside of here. I cannot believe stuff like this exists in the world. This is so cool to see. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. You guys see it goes all the way back. There's even like more tunnels down this way. I would definitely love to ex explore a little bit more but the rest of the group has left and I gotta head out because we are actually on our way to go somewhere else called the Queen's Bath. It's this really cool spot with actually more lava tubes. Ones that you can actually get inside of, like this one, but they have water on, on the inside. So that's where we're going next. Dang, that water is so pretty. <laughs> if you guys are not following us over on Instagram, definitely go check us out. Brittany is getting so many, oh gosh. Brittany is getting so many cool shots over there. <laughs> yeah, I almost tripped. This is amazing, guys. <laughs> it comes through like all the volcanic rock and it opens up to the most beautiful water. Oh, that looks so good. It looks, seriously it looks so good. It's, uh, it's just cool. It's so yeah. different than anything you've ever been to. It is so unique. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty dope, so this is it. <laughs> so you get in right here, it's pretty freezing cold water, but then you actually go through this tube right here, which opens up right there, and then it goes back even further, about another 100 yards or so, and it gets so dark that you actually can't even see your hand in front of you. So every single person that's gone in so far, you guys, has said it's freezing it's right. cold. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I have not yet been all, gone in. I'm the last person to go in. So guys, these bass are right across. This is the ocean right here. Look how crazy. It's like crystal clear. These little caves. I'm gonna wait here with everyone's stuff, but Jared's going in. That is cool. Woo! It is freezing down here. <laughs> Definitely, if you come here, wear water shoes. I actually let one of the girls wear my little water shoe strap-ons, but you're definitely gonna wanna want water shoes walking on all the rocks and everything in here. Hi guys, I'm going under in three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is freezing cold. We're gonna try to go a little bit deeper into this cave and it is pretty freaking pitch black down there as you can see. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know the phone got a little wet, but we're gonna try to go all the way down into this cave. All right guys, we just came from there. We're going down through here. It is so dark that it's really, really hard to navigate our way through. There are big boulders underneath here. So this is what we're kind of dealing with here, guys. Right now the water's up to my shins, but earlier it was up to my chest. Looks like up ahead maybe. It's down there. We are in the heart of Queen's Bath right now. It is insane here. It is super razor sharp up above, as you guys can see. And then down below here, it's actually pitch, pitch black. So dark that you can't even see your hand right in front of you. As you guys can see, we're in water right now. And it's about up to our knees right here. But it gets so deep that it, we're actually up to our waist. We swim. You swim for a while. Yeah, that is so crazy. The water down here is like crystal clear. It's so cool, but now it opens up. We're back to civilization, baby. We 
just got to this new beach called Hapuna Beach and it is so pretty. The water is like turquoise blue. It is so pretty. It's actually, this kind of reminds me a lot like that way of Sydney. Oh yeah! Um, what's that beach called we went to? Bondi like, Beach. Bondi Beach. Yeah. That's what this looks like from oh looking my over gosh. that way. Yeah, this totally looks like it. This is like definitely that Sydney vibe. Oh my, my goodness, I just got to turn the camera on. This is too pretty. So you guys can kind of see like what we're looking at right now, but that is so pretty with like the turquoise waters, those big trees. I love these trees. There's like nothing at the base and then they just flare up up top. This water is so crystal clear. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the sand is just like so clean and soft. This is absolutely incredible. You guys have to come here. into the ocean right now. So there's actually a sign out that says there's a strong current today and that I can feel. Whoa, this is dope though. Guys, this water is like perfect for boogie boarding. The group just pulled out the boogie boards right now and they're gonna go catch some waves. This is so much fun. <laughs> soaking up the sun out here on this beautiful beach. I've just been kind of relaxing out here. Jared right now is out with the group. He is boogie boarding with people. He's so cute. He's always everyone's cheerleader. He's cheering people on, go proing. He just brings the fun wherever he goes. This beach though, it is beautiful. It is reminding me a ton of Noosa Beach in Australia. If you guys have been around for those vlogs, let us know down below if you remember our trip to Australia, which was so incredible but it's really laid back, the waves, it's kind of the rocks and the trees and everything. It reminds me totally of Australia. So if you're ever on the big island, definitely come check out this beach. It is absolutely gorgeous. Eventful afternoon. Yeah, very eventful. Okay, crazy. Really quick, before I get into this, let me just turn around the camera. We are <laughs> on our way to store. Look at this drive. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. That is the sun shining off of the ocean. Oh, you can kind of see it now. Do you see the ocean right there? That is the entrance to the house right there. This is just like beautiful. We're up in the top of the mountains. I just want to give you guys like a feel of kind of where we're at. As soon as Jared turns on this run, I'll show you one more time and then I'll get into our afternoon. Okay, that is so gorgeous. The house is like covered in greenery. Yeah, look at this view though. Okay, look at this. We are driving down. The sun is right over the ocean. Oh my goodness, these homes up here are just insane. Look at this yard. Wow. Today was awesome. There were so many cool things that we saw <laughs> going around with the group. It was a ton of fun. Oh, it was an absolute blast. That beach was beautiful. However, we had another incident with an infestation in a rental car. And it was with Hertz again. It was with Hertz again? It was, I yeah. I didn't know it was with Hertz. But, so if you guys saw our video from a while ago, Britt and I actually rented a car out in Florida and it was infested with cockroaches. Oh, you guys, it was the worst. We it literally had it for disgusting. less than a day. Yeah. It started getting, anyways, you can go we'll link that video, go watch it. It's pretty funny looking back on it now, but at the time we were like stuck in the car for over an hour drive. It was in that awful. car and it was awful. But this was not cockroaches. This was ants, you guys, and ants. they were everywhere inside of the car. Oh. We didn't notice it at first, but when we started going on this drive, it's about, you know, 30 minutes, and Sean starts feeling like all these like bites on his legs, and he's like, are there ants in here? And sure enough, there's ants everywhere. Oh my gosh, and yes, mind you, the car was full with like 15 people, and so Sean dropped everyone off at the beach. He went all the way back to the airport to get a new one. Luckily, they had one. <laughs> 
They had one more, yeah. They had one more. <laughs> Can you guys believe that though? Like oh what gosh. are the chances yet again? I know, our luck with like rental cars. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, yeah. This one though, this is a rental car also from Hearst. And I gotta say, I'm really liking the truck. Oh, this is a truck. Every other being a man has a truck in his Yes, family. every other person, even the Matsons, you know, they got even, trucks. Yes. I do not. I need to get a truck. <laughs> so now he's like, huh, I'm thinking about getting a truck. I so, you guys think I should get a truck? Maybe comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, time has definitely flown by. We've been super busy with the group. Darby and Britt have been busy cooking. They cooked the most delicious meal, but I am actually gonna be signing off the vlog for tonight. We have a lot more still left to do, but make sure you guys come back tomorrow because tomorrow we are going on a catamaran cruise. We're going snorkeling. It's gonna be awesome. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for us. We love you. Until tomorrow, we'll see you later. off today's video in the middle of the jungle here on the big island we actually had about a 90 minute drive we came over to the Hilo side today we're staying on the Kona side but the drive was crazy we went through fog there was lava rocks there was jungles there was greenery one of you actually told us there are eight different climate zones here in Hawaii which is crazy we didn't even know there were eight climate zones to begin with and I feel like on this drive we went through a ton of them there was even snow in one place which is really awesome Jared is actually over here with a big group taking some photos in front of the waterfall we're gonna head over there next but yeah we just had to open up the vlog in front of this beautiful waterfall I'll find out the name of it put it down below so you guys it out if you ever come here as well but we have a super packed day today there's a ton of different things that they're taking us to so it should be a ton of fun Alright guys, we are on our way right now to some really cool waterfalls. They're kind of like waterfalls everywhere, but on these waterfalls you can actually climb up to the top and then jump off. So I clip jumping into that. It's going to be really fun. I'm actually looking forward to that. Got my water shoes on. But guys, I am kind of in the back of the boat right now. We had to move some cars, drop off some people, but I'm also really out of shape and tired. Uh... But cute Brit! waited for me she was like 10 minutes up ahead I was up wife of the year i wanted to make sure you knew where to turn i know there's a lot there's of like a lot of turns yeah a lot here. of twists and turns i will say <laughs> this right in front of us though it's about to get really pretty and green oh, as well yes. and right around the corner you start to hear the sound of a very big waterfall did you hear see it yeah i've seen a little bit of it oh I feel my it. gosh Okay. It looks awesome. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to show you guys. Whoa, there's the waterfall right there. Holy cow. I am stoked to see this. So this is like one of many upcoming. Hey guys, we just got here and it's pretty epic as you can see. We got a waterfall right there. We got another one behind us. We got one over here. And in order to get there, we actually have to go down this super steep like ravine, cross like this dam, and then go around this little bend, down some more rocks, and then we're finally at the waterfall. It is thick back here. If you guys are not following us on Instagram, definitely go over, check out our Instagram. Brittany's getting some of the coolest stories as always. See them jump off of there? Yeah, that was awesome. I can't wait to go do it. Are you gonna jump, baby? I uh, know. Yeah! Uh, no. <laughs> Came across these falls right here. Woo, there's right here. Now we're headed to the main waterfall where you jump off. Oh, I just saw someone jump. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, guys, we just made it to where you jump off. <laughs> Look at this. It was awesome. So cool. Sean just jumped off of that rock up there. That one's a little bit lower, but this is incredible. You're just in this like little bay right here that's really calm, surrounded by trees. This is incredible. If you guys come to the Big Island, you have to come here. Yeah, this is awesome. A little bit of a long hike, not too bad though, honestly. Uh, Gradual. It's totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. This is pretty incredible. Look at all the, the groups jumping off here. So fun. Avocado. Oh 
hiked up to this other waterfall behind me. It opens up to a massive pool and it's just so cool up here. So there's actually another cliff diving spot just right here. It looks kind of small, but it's actually probably about 10 feet tall. I will say the hike is maybe about 20 to 30 minutes long, but once you get up here, it is so worth it. It opens up, there's waterfalls all over. I took the drone up. I counted two waterfalls right here, two waterfalls down when we were hiking earlier and there was like three or four more back behind here. It is insanely epic. I just jumped off of that, swam over here, and now I am about to enter this cave. Once I go inside of this cave, the only way out is actually to cliff jump again down to the waterfall. We'll say it is very, very slippery in here, super muddy, but man, this is really cool and epic. Now down through here, it gets really tight and narrow, but as you guys look through, check this out. Oh, isn't that just insanely cool? I freaking love it. So you guys can kind of see where I am at right now. I got rocks on both sides of me and there's definitely like a hole that I'm going to have to hoist myself through. But in the end, that's my goal. I want to get right there. This is so much fun. So that hole right there that you can like barely see like that part right here. That's what I had to climb through to get to right here. Now I'm going to be jumping off of this into the water, swimming over to that waterfall and meet up with the rest of the guys. It is so cool in here. Look how big and open this pool is. <laughs> As you guys can see, this is what I'm working with right here. When I actually swam up to this, I had the hardest time holding on and getting hoisted up. But man, this is such an epic view, holy cow. another little small hike up to a bigger <laughs> waterfall this is awesome this is so much fun oh my gosh you guys jared just show me the drone footage i know you've probably seen it at this point we'll probably put it in the video but it is so beautiful there oh are my gosh it's incredible and greenery all around us speaking of those waterfalls those last ones that we were at awesome seriously so oh. much fun jumping off doing the cliff jumping this guy so did cool. a gainer off everyone was cheering for him it was so cool i haven't done one of those in years oh <laughs> i sat on the rocks i was actually taking videos of everyone jumping off from a cool angle <laughs> That's, That's right. my excuse why I That's didn't right. jump off the rocks. Honestly, <laughs> no, you, it had, you had to take me. one for the team. Someone had to take one for the team. Yeah, right? someone did. Yeah, I was the designated <laughs> photographer, videographer. Happy to do that, but you guys just taking in these views. Oh, gorgeous. It's incredible. It's the Aloha spirit on this island. It's so gorgeous, so beautiful. There's just like a special feeling in Hawaii. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's the Aloha life. It's the Aloha life. Venture into a massive lava tube cave that was formed back in 1881 by the volcano Mauna Loa. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, you guys, 
This thing is massive. It's over 26 miles long. I believe the name of this place is Kaumana Caves. If you guys are interested, come check it out. It looks epic so far. Now I'll hop it into this uh, cave right here. Wow, it goes way far back. And it is very, very big in here. Holy cow. That is pretty epic. Well, there's Britt. Hey, baby. Guys, this is pretty awesome. I'm a little bit nervous because <laughs> it's like pitch black in here. But I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> Dinner tonight, Darby and I, mainly Darby, she made all the meat and all the really important stuff. We're doing tacos and like a sweet pork copycat cafe Rio salad. Get the delicious whole pork that she roasted all day. We used a rotisserie chicken, which is a really good recipe. It's just ranch and- It's like the ranch seasoning packet and Italian dressing. It is so good. It's so good. So good. So that's so chicken, good. cilantro, lime, rice, tomatoes, black beans, cheese, salsa. This is that cilantro, lime, vinaigrette. I've made this before on the vlog. So good. Sour cream, toppings, limes. This sauce that is amazing. If you guys have not tried this, this is at Costco. It's also gluten-free and dairy-free, which is awesome. So, man, you know, I think they're going to be happy. Okay guys, we just finished up with dinner. It was delicious as always. Tacos were bomb. It was so good. You guys, today was amazing. Yes, today was honestly awesome. There was a brief moment where I was actually very scared. So I did not have a chance to really tell you guys this because when it happened, I was inside of that cave inside of the waterfall. And I wasn't there. I didn't go over to that waterfall. I stayed back with a few people on the other yeah. side of like the little mountain. So I didn't see any of this happen. It was kind of scary, you guys. So in order to get into that little cave area, you had to swim into the waterfall. And that waterfall, as you guys saw from the drone video, it's massive. It's like pounding down. Pounding down. And when you got close to it, there was a very strong current pushing you away from like the rock edge. I had swam all the way from the point where I cliff jumped. It was very far away. I swam all the way over there and then I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of fun to go inside of that cave. Bad idea. I started swimming towards that cave. The current was pushing me away from it. The water was hitting down on me so hard that I felt like I was going under. And on top of that, there's so much water, it's hard to even breathe in. So I was struggling and gasping for air. And on top of that, I wear contact lenses and my contacts kept slipping out. Oh my gosh. I honestly thought, you guys, I was going to drown. I was reaching like crazy, frantically trying to grip onto anything, but the rocks were super slippery and mossy that I kept sliding right off. This is after like hiking for yeah. over two hours, so yeah. I was exhausted just from yeah. the hike, but then Luckily, swimming. the guys could see that I was like legitimately struggling. They reached out and literally hoisted me in. Oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> grateful for that because that could have been a really scary situation. So yeah. even though these hikes and the waterfalls are super beautiful and super fun yeah. to visit. Like you have to be really careful when you're out exploring and doing things like this. Mm -hmm. Things like this, I mean, they happen to people all the time. Yeah. And you never really think it'll happen to you, but I'm yeah. just so grateful. Yeah. Jared's okay. When he told me that, I like almost had a panic attack. Yeah. Oh my gosh. At first I was like, are you serious? And he was like, yeah, because you know, Jared, he's always joking around. So he was like, yeah, I... No, I'm just scary. serious. I was like legitimately scared. Like I couldn't breathe in because I was inhaling like water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was bad. It uh, was really bad. But ended on a good note. I was able to get in, show you guys that, which was way fun. I was able to get back out. You guys, I am so grateful our day ended <laughs> the way it did and yeah. not in a very yeah. worse way. What a day from start to finish. It was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the beautiful views of Hawaii. I know I sure did. So you guys, I think that is actually going to do it for us tonight. If you guys are new to our channel, always hit that subscribe button. Make sure you come join our family and make sure you guys come on back tomorrow. We have something epic planned. Good night, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys.
Aloha and welcome back to our channel. I am kicking off today's video solo. So Jared and Sean took the majority of the group out for a fun adventure this morning and I decided to hang back. Honestly, I just need to get caught up on a ton of things, both work emails, stuff with the house. As you guys know, we are here for Adventure Hunt. Darby, Sean's girlfriend and I are helping out with the food and feeding 30 people can be quite the production. So there's a lot that goes into it. I just finished cleaning up breakfast. This is one of the rare times there's actually no one out here enjoying the beautiful pool. If you guys have not seen our house tour of this amazing house on the big island, make sure you go check it out. It has been absolutely a dream. I mean, just check out the views up here. I've just been sitting here for a second and taking it all in. It's just like a little paradise up here. So peaceful. There's like no neighbors. This little house back here you see is actually the guest house. We have people staying in there as well, but this has just been such a fun space to come hang out. We've actually been gone a ton. I have not even gotten into the pool once yet because usually we'll get up, make breakfast. I have been waking up super early. One, because I've really not wanted to get off our sleep schedule. Being on Eastern time, there is a five hour time difference between back home and here. And so the first few days, your body just kind of wakes up automatically around 4.30, at least mine has been. And so I've tried to kind of just stay with that because when I go home, I don't want it to be super rough. Usually I get up between 4.30, 5, go unload the dishwasher from the dinner the night before. Actually, two dishwashers. Yes, the kitchen here is great for entertaining. And then I start getting stuff ready for breakfast. And then usually we feed everyone around 7.30. And then Sean and Jared have really fun excursions and adventurous things planned. So we have been gone a ton. So today I was like, you know what? You guys go ahead. I'll stay back, get things kind of prepped. We we are doing a dinner tonight that requires things to kind of be prepped in advance as well. So kind of just getting things cleaned up, situated, organized around here. That many people in the house, things can get a little bit crazy. So just trying to help out where I can. But honestly, just being here in the peace and quiet is so nice as well. A nice little break from being gone. If you guys have missed any of our videos from our fun adventures, make sure you go check them out. We have done so many things. We're about at the halfway point. We have about a week left, so there's still a ton more to see and do. Stay tuned for more adventures. We actually have something really awesome planned tonight. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I know it is something that the entire group has been looking forward to. We've never done it before. We've heard amazing things, so make sure you stick around for that. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sit out here for a little bit, work on some work emails. I'm hoping later today, I'll have a little bit of time to get in this beautiful pool. Okay, you guys, I was outside and I left a door open for just a second and a bird flew in the house. Oh my gosh, oh boy. Do you see this cute little bird? It's just a little one. Oh my gosh, it's flying around the kitchen. Okay, I'm not sure I'm gonna get this out of here. Holy cow, maybe I better open up both of these. Come here, birdie. Oh no, come on. Oh shoot, you guys. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? It's trying to get out, but all of these windows have screens. Birdie, this way. Okay, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, shutting the door right now. I can't believe it just flew out there. Oh, I was so scared it was gonna like fly into this giant room. I know birds have gotten in here before and it's super hard to get them out because it's so high. Well, we averted the bird thing. That didn't take too long, but I need to get started on prepping stuff for dinner. We are making chicken piccata tonight. Darby has made it. I've never made chicken piccata, but she's making that, so I'm gonna kind of just prep the chicken. But I am making mashed potatoes from scratch. I need to start like peeling the potatoes, boiling them. I'm trying to decide if I should make garlic mashed potatoes or not. You guys saw our Christmas Eve videos when we were Jared's family. I made that roasted garlic mashed potato and they were a hit. All you do is roast garlic bulbs in the oven with olive oil for about an hour, and they come out so soft, and then you mix that into your mashed potatoes, so good. And it makes it so you don't have to have gravy as well. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do, but we will kind of see. Just got breakfast all cleaned up in here. You guys, it's kind of crazy, but feeding almost 30 people is kind of a production. We usually put out all the breakfast or whatever the main meal is here, dinner, 
kind of do the face that line. Then usually we have like a fun adventure everyone's going on. So they're packing snacks, lunches, sandwiches, things like that. So we have that stuff right over here. Then over here we have like the coffee station. So usually I have this all set up. We have the drying station over here. This kitchen is awesome for feeding for a crowd. It has two really big fridges. We have one with like all the stuff we cook with and another fridge that people can snack on whatever is in there. And then I actually just got finished kind of rearranging the pantry because in here can get crazy with everyone. So many people coming in, getting snacks, putting things everywhere, our drinks. I just restocked the fridge again. We got drinks all ready to go for everyone. Honestly, this probably empties out almost every day, which is crazy. We've actually done, I think, three more Costco hauls. Mainly most of that's drinks, but we have had to pick up a few things here and there. But I love seeing all the fresh pineapple. We always have lots of pineapple that I can cut up with like breakfast or dinner, anything like that, because it's so delicious. Everyone loves that. Another big hit, these coconut rolls, you guys. These are amazing. We got these from Costco. We've probably gone through 10 bags of these alone. I'm not sure. I've never seen them in our Costco in Florida. Let us know if you have these at your Costco, but if you do and you love coconut, get these. They are so stinking good. So even though obviously this is a lot of work, honestly it has been a dream just to be here. I mean, look at the view outside. I get a look at why we are in the kitchen. It just doesn't get more beautiful than that. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish up a few things, and then I'm gonna get started probably on prepping potatoes for dinner. All right, you guys, I am working on potatoes. I just got them all peeled. I'm doing one entire 15 pound bag of potatoes for the group. It fills up an entire one of these sheets. I got the water boiling, so I'll drop them in there. And then I'll show you how I roast the garlic and mix it with cream cheese and half and half. All right, you guys, my potatoes are almost done boiling. Once they are done, I'm gonna go ahead and mash them with butter, cream cheese. I got my garlic roasting in the oven. It's about done. I'm cooking this at 425 for about 30 minutes till it's soft and then you can just squeeze it out to the bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you how I mix it all together. We got dinner done with about five minutes to steer. <laughs> Almost done. It Darby killed the chicken. It's actually in the oven, staying warm. Chicken piccata looks so amazing. And then asparagus. We have the garlic mashed potatoes and regular. I decided to split them up and not do all garlic. That way, if people don't like garlic, we can have both options. Then over here, just did a simple Caesar salad. And then this is delicious piccata sauce. Is that how you say it? Yeah, it's lemon sauce lemon sauce for the chicken it looks so good so and then over here is our little gluten-free dairy-free area and darby even made gluten-free dairy-free chicken piccata as well dinner is ready What's up, you guys? Aloha! Yeah. First things first, the sun is about to set. Ooh. Jared's gonna get us drone. We have not had a chance to drone the sunset from no. the house yet. Because we've been busy. so sad. Yes, I know. Usually I'm cooking right during that time. You're busy with people. Yep. But today, dinner's done, so we are gonna enjoy the sunset, yes. and then we have something yes. so amazing planned for tonight. Uh, what I'm we a little have nervous planned for tonight to is honest. probably the coolest slash freakiest thing in the world. We've gone diving with sharks before, so that's pretty freaky. And in itself. And that's also coming up again. Yeah, that's also coming week. up again. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not definitely doing it right now. But what we're doing tonight is pretty darn freaky. And from what we've heard, things actually hit you. Oh my gosh. And it's at night, you guys, in the ocean. That's Pitch all we're going to say. That's Pitch all we're black. Say. 
Yeah. That's all we're gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you for all the sweet comments about our videos up to this point. Yes. So many of you guys are loving these Hawaii vlogs. You say uh -huh. you feel like you're right here on the island with us, which we are so happy about. We absolutely love sharing all of these days with you, all these moments, all these scenes. And anyways, yes, we just love you guys. <laughs>
welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Hawaii. You guys, I am kicking off today's video. I'm actually standing in a Safeway parking lot. For those of you that do not know what Safeway is, it's a common grocery store chain here on the island and it is awesome. I've been here so many times this week coming to grab things that we need and luckily it's only about a two minute drive up from our house. So as you can see behind me, the beautiful mountains, the house we are staying at is up in those mountains. And you guys look at the view from here. You see the oceans when you walk in the store, you come out and the ocean is right there. So I have to say that is pretty awesome. But I am here because I'm gonna be making cinnamon rolls tomorrow for the group. Tomorrow morning, half of the group heads back home. So I was trying to think of a fun breakfast for everyone and I thought what better way to send them off than some cinnamon rolls. So I'm gonna run inside, pick up those ingredients. Jared is actually off with the group. They are doing a really cool hike today. I'm kind of bummed that I'm missing out on that, but I needed to get a few things done here at the house. They're also going to a farmer's market I know, so I'm sure we'll be checking in with him throughout the day as well. And then they should get back later this afternoon. So it's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, but for now I'm gonna run into the store. What's up you guys? I am out with the group. We're in this town called Waimea. We're at the farmer's market. We just got here. I got myself an acai bowl, which is delicious. And we have an awesome day packed. Today we're doing a hike to one of the most beautiful locations in the world. Plus we were doing a water slide and I personally cannot wait for that. So we got those two things plus a ton more adventures. So if you guys are not subscribed and you're new to us, definitely hit that subscribe button right now. So this is the locals farmer's market. It's pretty dope. Like there are so many tents, so many different vendors. I love seeing about these places right here is that everything that they're providing is local. So whether they're making their local honey in this tent right here, they got local honey, jams, and butter. There's a place over here, the big tent right there, they have local candles, which is really cool. What I love is that there's so much variety packed into a small little space. Okay hey guys, that was an absolute blast. Now it's actually time to go pack up into the cars again and head on over to this hike. Guys, I am so stoked for this hike. I'm a little bit nervous just because I know it's gonna be longer, it's a little steep, it's gonna be a little crazy, but it's gonna be so much fun. So we are walking towards our next destination, the hike, and this is a pretty dope hike. As you guys can probably see and tell, it is surrounded by tons of fog, crazy little trees and limbs. Like that one right behind me, that's gnarly. But we're gonna be on this trail for a little bit, about the next hour or so. Right now we're walking along like this little stream of some sort, and that actually leads to a water duck. And from there, we actually slide down that water slide. This fog is just insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this part's pretty gnarly. Check that out. It's like a pipe of some sort. <laughs> this is so cool. Is so I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. This honestly does feel like Jurassic Park. Back there is pretty muddy. You could have gone left to right. I took the road less traveled. It was the wrong road. <laughs> I'm all covered in mud. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. I almost lost my shoe back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this trail you walk on is so crazy. I mean, look at that. That's like barely even a trail. It's just like a bunch of rocks. This is rad. Check it this out right here. This like forest. Totally something you'd see like at a Narnia or something like that. That is so cool. Okay guys, I'm trying to film this, but also not freak out at the same time. This is the trail that we're walking on for the next few minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes. And literally right off the side of this is a 2000 foot drop. This is probably one of the most dangerous trails I've ever done. I am definitely going to be focusing on this way more than I'm gonna be trying to film it. This is honestly really, really cool and really fun, but also very, very scary. I am purposely in the back just to make sure that everyone in front of us is totally safe. 
Okay, this is pretty gnarly. We're gonna be crossing this tube right here in order to get to the other side. That is nuts right there. Luckily, there are steel beams on either side. So that's how you get from here over to there. That's maddening. So basically, we're on this trail right here. We've been here for a little bit. We're gonna go across this, around, and keep working our way up. So after crossing this thing right here, we then hop into this and we go through and it's pitch black in there. So we're gonna be using the flashlight. And we gotta go through this tunnel, which is extremely narrow. Oh my gosh, it just gets lower and lower. This is what I look like right now. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. So there are very few sections where you can actually stand up inside of this thing. This happens to be one of them. It's pretty darn cool. You can stand up right through here and just kind of relax your back. That's where I came from. And that's where I'm going. So there's a long stretch right here where actually I don't get to stand up for a very long time after this. Oh my gosh. Woo! Man, it's so far ahead. <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel there, it's actually not the end of the tunnel. It's just people with their flashlights on. Finally got to the slide, you guys. We gotta climb up this right here, and then we slide down into this. Okay guys, this is the very top of the water slide. It is extremely slippery because of all the moss, but it's so much fun. You slide down so fast, like so, so fast. And the water is like ice cold. It's like a polar plunge. It's so cold, but man, this is awesome. this outfit. If you've ever seen anyone come to Florida, you know what outfit he's wearing. We are coming up to the balcony because the sun just set. Look at this sunset. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at the clouds coming in over the ocean. That looks so good. Wow. He doesn't go. We have had quite the day. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, I'm exhausted. Yeah. I am so tired. He's just go, go, going. But he's been telling me about that amazing hike and the slide. It was so much fun. Which is Seriously so, so much cool. fun. <laughs> I got a bunch of work stuff done. Yeah. Got all my stuff for my cinnamon rolls I'm gonna be making tomorrow morning. You guys, fingers crossed that they work out. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little nervous to make them here in Hawaii. And I only have these big, like, tin. You know the big, like, yeah, we tin don't have, like, serving trays? Sheets. Yeah. Very surprising. I don't have baking well, they too. have two, but there's just not a Enough. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna make them in those tins. So fingers crossed, they work <laughs> out. But I think I think that might actually do it for us. We yeah, are so tired. so tired. I don't know if you can tell, but we are so tired. I think we're gonna go to bed tonight. We're gonna need a vacation from this <laughs> vacation. I mean, it's a work vacation. I mean, it's not really a vacation. It's yeah, it's a, a lot work of work. Trip. It's a lot of work <laughs> for sure. But it's been amazing. This is amazing, you guys. We love all of you. Thanks for joining us today in Hawaii yet again. And don't worry, there's still like five more days ahead. Oh yeah. We have a lot of more fun. We have some really cool things planned. Yeah. <laughs> really cool stuff. Just when you thought there was enough, it doesn't stop. You guys, it does not. We love you all so much, and we'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel today. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, as always. Today is gonna be a pretty awesome start to the vlog. I am not gonna lie there. I am actually standing out in front of Blue Hawaiian Helicopters. We are about to take up our entire group on a helicopter tour of the big island of Hawaii. And this is not just some simple helicopter tour, you guys. We are doing a two-hour helicopter tour of the entire big island of Hawaii. Hawaii. It is going to be awesome. I seriously cannot wait to go up there. Now, I know you guys know from our previous vlogs, Britt and I have actually had the opportunity to do other helicopter rides. I did a helicopter ride out in Australia. We did a helicopter ride in New York City with our family. And the last time that Britt and I were actually in Hawaii on the island of Kauai, we did a helicopter tour there of the Nepali coast, which was so cool. I am personally very excited for this one because Big Island of Hawaii has so many different climates that we learned from you guys, by the way. It has eight different climates. Now, one thing about this helicopter tour compared to the other ones that we have been on, it has middle seats and the helicopter is fully enclosed. So if you guys remember from our Kauai helicopter trip, it was actually just Britt and I in there with the pilot, doors off. So this is not gonna be the same experience as that, but it's still gonna be epic nonetheless because it's gonna be two hours long. So we actually just had our safety briefing and now we're just waiting to board our helicopter.
Okay guys, this is definitely a first when it comes to helicopter rides. We've actually landed in Hilo Airport. So we're actually in Hilo right now. I guess you just come to stop here, go to the bathroom because you obviously can't go to the bathroom on a helicopter ride. We are basically just kind of stretching our legs before we go to the north side of the island, which was all the waterfalls, which we were the most excited for. Obviously Hilo is kind of known for being the wetter side of the big island. Back here, just behind me is the northern side where all those waterfalls are at. We are just basically enjoying this time to be able to stretch and move around, be able to use the bathroom as well and then we're gonna hop back into the helicopters and go back up in the air. Pretty cool to see all the helicopters, like this is definitely like a helipad. <laughs> Okay guys, we just finished up and I gotta say, that was the coolest experience in the world. It was seriously so much fun. We actually saw a whale slapping his tail up against the water and then just right then, another whale breached out of the water. It was so cool. But you guys, that was worth every penny. It was seriously so much fun. Now it's time to head on back to the house. <laughs> and back with the lady. Ah, uh, back with the missus from the lady. helicopter ride. And you guys, we have the house to ourselves. We have the house to ourselves. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this like never happens. Yeah. There's 30 people staying in a place. Oh. Like, you never get this place yourself. It's true. We actually have not once been here by ourselves this entire time. And it like, feels good. I feel like we really, a lot of you have said, like, tell us what you're cooking. Tell us what you're doing, you guys. If I had time, <laughs> I totally would. But usually it's, it's Aussie, like, go, go, go. It's like a mad dash rush, getting things ready on time. Yeah. Make sure people in places. And yeah. it's just a little crazy. So I'm sorry I've not been able to be better <laughs> at vlogging when we're here at the house. We've tried our best on excursions. Speaking of that, that's why we've had to split up a little bit because I need to make sure things are ready for when the group gets back. Yep. And this guy has to make sure the group has an awesome time and gets to the places. I know, and that might seem a little unfair that my job is to make sure that everyone has fun. Yeah, what's, but that really is what's the role. What's going on with this? That's what Should we have to do for this thing. That's the whole role of this. <laughs> Our is. job is to ensure that everyone has fun and they're safe. Yes, and yep. my job is to ensure everyone is fed and happy. That's right. That is right. <laughs> hey, I will do that any day because look at what I am looking Ooh. at right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's I know you're a total silhouette and you look so cute. Oh, oh, oh. now let's keep that in frame. Okay. There we go. There we go. Wait, but listen, you need to tell them about the amazing helicopter tour. So the helicopter tour, you guys, was absolutely spectacular. We loved it so much. I said it earlier, but we saw whales. We saw them slapping their tails up against the water. But you saw, saw one jump out. Yeah. And yeah. when you say breach, I had no idea what that meant. So yeah. not, if you guys don't know what that means, it jumped out of the water and spun and like flew back in. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing. I'm gonna have to like look that up because it seemed like maybe they're playing with each other or was, who knows what they're so doing. But it was really, really cool. And I was like, what? It I know. Amazing. And the so Big cool. Island has so many different types of just the landscape. Every, yeah, landscape, everything. We went from like dry land to volcanoes, active volcanoes. We saw snow on the mountains. Yes. Then we went to this luscious green, like everything. Oh. We saw waterfalls. It was unreal. It was unreal. It was a two hour ride. I think the longest helicopter ride we've been on was in Kauai. And that was like, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, it's an like 45 maybe? minutes to an hour. And that was an absolute blast. There's no question about it. I will say this. If you guys are interested in a helicopter ride and you're basing that off of what island you're going to be at, yeah. I would definitely go to Kauai. Kauai for no sure. Question. The Nepali coast, Kauai, 
One of you guys actually had an awesome idea. You said we should do a video comparing all the different Hawaiian islands Ooh. and why you would go to, look, Jared's Hold not on, even, sorry. I know, I'm sorry. This me. is just a really cool deck and this deck is just so much fun <laughs> to hang out on. You guys, I we love to chill here. While Jared was on his helicopter ride, Darby <laughs> and I came and laid out out here for a little bit this morning. I mean, how could you not? It's so awesome. nice. I love it. Like, this. <laughs> it is cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a squirrel moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, I apologize. But that was my bad. But what we were saying <laughs> is we are going to make a video where we compare islands and tell you what we like most about like yeah. certain ones, best things to do. I know. I feel like we need to do that. There's so we many have... different great things to all the islands. But yeah, we've had the opportunity to be to all the islands while we're vlogging. Yeah. yeah. And we have all of those saved too. So if yeah. you're ever curious, you can go look at our different playlists about each island and you can see all there is to know about them. Yeah. Actually, I think our favorite island so far has actually been Kauai. It is. You guys, that's where we went for my 30th birthday do you remember that oh, oh yeah i remember a fun trip. that was a good surprise that was such a fun surprise and trip my goodness i think this is such a fun angle right here you can kind of see the pool so it's an infinity pool and so the water like trickles down into here these cute little birds you guys okay so since we've been here at the house for quite a few days now i think what babe are we on a day eight nine ten yeah, something like that. I don't even know. I've lost count. These cute little birds, when you leave the screen doors open, do you remember one was in the kitchen? I've learned they literally love coming in the house. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So this morning, two of them were in the main room. I opened the door and they immediately flew right out. So funny. It's like they kind of just know when the doors are open, they know exactly where to go and where to go out. They have little red heads, so I'm not quite sure what type of birds they are, but they are really, really cute. The majority of the group, as we mentioned, is off to dinner at a restaurant tonight. That means that Darby and I do not have to cook. So we thought it would be fun for the four of us to do our own little dinner yeah, tonight. Yeah, go out tonight. So we're just waiting for Sean and Darby to get back and then we're gonna go have some fun out on the town. guys, the sunset doesn't get much better than that. Wow. I was walking by, we watched it set. I thought it was over. I was walking by and I screamed. I was like, Jared, get out of here. <laughs> Look at that. It looks so good. It is just like bright. Like the camera doesn't even do it justice. I'm so sorry. It just I know, doesn't. It doesn't. But it is so beautiful. <laughs> guys, it's been amazing. Like the whole day from start to finish has been amazing. And tomorrow's gonna be amazing too. So if you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button right now because we got some good stuff coming up. And we also have a shark dive coming up. Yes, we're so excited. <laughs> you guys, we love you all so much and we'll see you all next time. See you guys, love ya. Aloha! Aloha. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Woo. Good morning from the big island. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. start calling it the big, beautiful island. I know, seriously, you guys. We're actually out here right now. We're about to go paddle boarding in hopes to find dolphins. Oh my gosh. So we're down kind of in the center of Kona right now. This is like the cruise port. It's hopping. There's lots of people here. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. It's beautiful morning. It was so cool. We saw people like doing their like laps in the ocean, which was awesome. They were paddle boarding on those like cool Hawaiian canoes. So cool. Derek yeah. flew his drone trying to look for dolphins. Yeah. And we just saw a little pot of them. So we rented a paddle board. We are going to go out there, see if we can maybe see some if we're lucky enough. But what better way to start the morning? <laughs> Who's got a pet that we're tipping over in the next five minutes? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> look over here though. Look how beautiful that is. The water is super clear as well. I can see kind of everything straight down, which is awesome. So. Okay, let's go find some dolphins, or we even, the paddleboard guy told me there could even be wells out here as well. So how awesome would that be, babe? Oh, but that'd be sick. I think I would be a little nervous Where though to they? see a well on a paddleboard. Oh, dolphins, dolphins to the left, dolphins oh to the left, real, whole okay. pot of them. Okay, you guys, there are a pot of dolphins right over here. Oh my gosh, they might be coming back this way. you guys the dolphins are right here they're like pretty much under us we'll see if they come up a huge pot of 
lot of dolphins just came by. We were trying to get the GoPro out, the phone out. We didn't expect them to be there right when we got out here. I think we may have captured a few on the GoPro, fingers crossed. Now, Sean told us that they should come back if they were here, so I'm keeping my eye out. Jared and the rest of the group is out here. They're looking at sea turtles right now. How cool is that? But, oh my gosh, that was incredible. One of them did a flip and a spin. It was so cool. This is absolutely incredible. I would highly recommend coming out here. This is just the main bay where they park the cruise ships. There's a little shop here where you can rent paddle boards and things like that. We brought our snorkel masks as well. No turtles. I saw one. Yeah. But I couldn't capture on the GoPros. Darn it. Any fish? Not really, actually. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of nothing right here. Man. <laughs> we did see dolphins though, guys. They're really cool. I know, I told Fortunately, them. Fortunately, we did not capture it. Well, I said we may have Pretty gotten sure. a little on the GoPro. Yeah. We were kind of in a mad dash. <laughs> oh boy. This is just fun being out here on the paddleboard, honestly. Oh, it's way fun. I told them how I'm on dolphin watch. So, here's Cross, you guys, I want them to come back so bad. We, we may have to come back and do this another morning. I feel like they're here early I know. in the morning. So maybe we got here smidge too late, right when they were leaving. But, but we did see them, right? We, we did right. see we them. Dope. Yes, it was really cool. That's we were just awesome. hoping to capture them a little bit better. finished up with the morning paddle boarding which was amazing we grabbed an acai bowl on the way home just in downtown Kona we are now at a snorkeling place I think it is called two steps but I will ask Jared he is actually out in the water right now I just got out it's pretty good snorkeling it's a little bit rough my mask kept having water come in so it wasn't super enjoyable so I got out have just been taking in the beautiful scenery I mean look at all these amazing palm trees back here this is a beautiful beautiful Spot. Lots of black rocks. It's not the most ideal beach if you want to come just relax. There's no sand. There's these big rocks, but there's a lot of reef out there. Tons of fish. And this part of the islands, so we are driving, I believe, south right now from where we are staying in Kona, and it's super green, lush. Kind of reminds me of Maui a little bit. We were talking about that. Anyways, we're going to be spending a little more time here snorkeling, and then we have something really fun coming up next. a black pebble beach and it is so cool the entire beach is made out of these black rocks I don't know if they're lava or what they are but it is so cool to see just the contrast of these rocks with the bright blue ocean and we're up in the mountains we drove down this neighborhood that took probably about 20 minutes to get down because it was so steep the roads are so tiny and they are just covered with palm trees flowers it was absolutely beautiful. The homes there are kind of up on stilts with tons of balconies. But man, look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. Jared's actually getting the drone because we really want to see a bird's eye view of this. Like the waves here are huge. Oh my gosh. Woo! Woo! That's so cool. When the waves come in, you can hear them like go down the pebbles. Wow, look at this. Really, really cool. Oh my gosh. The group's over here. Jared's getting the drone up. Jared's flying the drone. Jared, what do you think of this place? pretty awesome. You it's called Pebbles Beach for a reason. There's like 
millions and billions of pebbles everywhere. So many pebbles. I, my favorite part is literally when the waves hit it and you just hear the sound of all the little pebbles. Oh, it's awesome. It's really, really cool. So unique, so different than anything we've ever been to. Check it out, baby. Black sand. Black sand. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Crazy, just all the little grains. I wonder what makes it black. I have no idea. I think it's all volcanic. And then it just over time it crushes up. Yeah, I guess so. But there's tons of like seashell and stuff in here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so cool. Welcome back to our channel Woo! today. You guys, we have the most incredible day planned oh, ahead. Guys, we are stoked. You see this bad boy right here, this beast of a boat? This is what we're going on right now to go with some shark diving. We are going free diving with sharks. No guys. cage, nothing. We are going out to the middle of the ocean, jumping out, swimming with sharks, and coming back. Now, if you've been around here for a while, <laughs> you may remember we've done this before. A couple of years ago, we yeah. did this out on Oahu with Nate and Michelle. When Nate actually proposed to Michelle. Yes, and you could say in the beginning of that vlog is a lot different than this one because we were so nervous. So I remember scared. being so scared. My heart was pounding. And maybe it will be like that later on, but right now we are just excited. Like, this boat incredible. looks sick. It looks so sick. We drove past it. We actually couldn't find the place initially. Drove past this boat. I looked over and I said to Britt, I was like, that boat looks sick. <laughs> and then we came around and we're like, oh, that's actually the one we're riding on. There's actually like individual seats, which is crazy. Yeah, so, we are stoked for this. We are so excited. So we will <laughs> see you guys out with the shark. So we wanted to be able to see them a little bit closer. We're hoping that we can find them in the area that we're at right now. We actually just barely saw them go down. So in about 10 minutes or so, they should probably pop back up. So cool. Right now we're by the fisher nets right out here. That's where they catch a ton of the fish that they serve on the island and things like that. It's like a fish farm. <laughs> out here snorkeling right now in hopes to find some manta rays. We haven't seen anything yet, but it'd be really cool. There's a ton of fish. <laughs> yeah, tons of fish. Really pretty reef, which is awesome. I will say, cruising around on this like Navy battleship thing is really cool. It's <laughs> awesome. boat's so rad. All right, we're buddied up. I say we go down. <laughs>
got off the boat. It was awesome. Seriously, so much that fun. That was incredible. <laughs> Honestly, they it were was awesome. awesome. They were so cool. It was Trip and Kelly that we went with, they were total studs. The boat that you ride on is seriously so much fun. The boat is what makes the difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. was so fun. At the end, he let us all drive it. Like, it was <laughs> yeah. just You could like awesome. really whip around and like the boat handle it like a dime. It was we so nice. We saw baby sharks. We saw yeah. real sharks, whales. Awesome yeah, snorkeling. everything. We saw sea turtles. It was dolphins. Top to bottom. Everything. Awesome. What we got and going we on? Just got back from that awesome boat excursion. We're whipping up lunch really quick before I left. I boiled some noodles. I'm making a teriyaki pasta chicken salad. It's so mm. easy. But basically, the sauce is teriyaki sauce, some vinegar, sugar, a little vegetable oil. I have some craisins, water chestnuts in here, mandarin oranges, and then I'm gonna add in some honey roasted peanuts mm. and some Secret. spinach. It's just like really refreshing, super easy, super light. So we're gonna put lunch together and then just kind of enjoy the afternoon. We are so sad it's our last day. We were oh actually checking gosh. out today. We were leaving today, this beautiful home. Uh, sad days. Sad it's days. crazy. I feel like we've been here for almost, what, two weeks? Yeah, two yet weeks. It flew by, but yet each day kind of didn't fly by because this trip, <laughs> as many of you guys know, has been a ton of work, a oh, ton of fun. It's been a ton of fun, but, but like Whitney said, a lot of work, which is why you guys have probably noticed our videos haven't been as epic as they usually are. I, I mean, know. they're still pretty epic, but they're not as long as or they as long been. Or as long or in detail. like Because we have been so busy with work. I know, and you guys, I know you guys understand and know yeah. that, so thank you yes, for that. Yes, thank you. So many of you guys have commented that, that you guys feel like we should just vlog it all, but we do want to provide really cool content How for you guys. How can we not here in Hawaii? We need to share all the beauty with you. Look how cute Jared looks today really quick. He's got his pineapple Hawaii shirt on with his cute colored, what, coral swim trunks, I want to yeah, say? Yeah, I mean, I do wear these. I guess I wear both of these in, in Florida. In Florida, he does. Uh, it's way more But fun here it Hawaii. just looks like so nice. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ooh. We're just standing in the driveway right now. Know, it's absolutely like, beautiful. Ooh, so this morning, Darb and I made our last breakfast. <sighs> Felt good, I bet. It was so amazing. <laughs> we had quite the spread. We had tons of fresh fruit. We had eggs, bacon, pastries. Kind of just put everything out that we had left because we had a ton of food. The cleaners are coming to the house. The house we're staying at, they're being super nice and letting people stay here and like be at the pool all day, use one of the bathrooms while they're even cleaning for the next group to come in. Super cool. Which is so nice. So that way we're just not like stuck with until our flights tonight. Jared and I actually fly out. We're the first ones to fly out. Yeah, we are. Which I think we are the furthest ones <laughs> home, though, That's sadly. true. That is true. We're going from Hawaii to Miami. So we're flying out of Kona at 3.30 this afternoon. We fly to LA. LAX, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. And we get in around 10.30 tonight. Yes. And then from there, we leave around midnight LAX time all the way to Miami, <laughs> get in around like 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. So we have a lot that's going on today. We're gonna try our best to get out of vlog, but just so you guys know, yeah. this is kind of what we've been dealing with. Yeah. Very go, go, go lifestyle out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of that, if you guys have missed any of the Hawaii videos, go back and watch them. Yes, go back and watch them. They are pretty darn freaking cool. Did, I made a whole playlist. We did some really cool excursions that we've mm -hmm. never done before. I yeah. think the highlight was seeing that whale jump out of the oh ocean. Oh my gosh, yes. That was incredible. Seeing the whale breach I, on the helicopter tour. So if you guys missed that vlog, go back, gosh. check it out. It was awesome. It was awesome as well as shark diving, seeing those baby sharks yeah. was amazing. The baby sharks driving so the, cool. the army speedboat was amazing. Yeah, oh my like, gosh. We had so many like fun times, like oh so many fun times. Swimming with manta rays at night in the middle yes. of the ocean was amazing. Crazy, crazy like, cool. Seriously. This I know. Not have been a more epic trip, but we are sad that it's coming to an end. Oh my goodness, you guys. 
We love seeing the cruise ships come in here. One came in this morning. It just looks beautiful down there in the bay. We are for sure gonna miss this view. This house has been incredible. You guys, the time has come. We are all packed up. Taking the bags outside. Everyone's got their stuff all here in the house. Didn't want this day to come. Last, last time. <laughs> Darby's coming to the airport with us. Hurry, Hurry Darby. <laughs> Hurry, <you're> <laughs> if you're not in the car in one minute. This Uber's leaving. Ooh, just oh, totally boy. hit your in the heel. <laughs> hit your in the heel. Uh, Darby, how do you feel about leaving right now? You know, I'm really excited to not be cooking anymore. Yeah. Same. But I'm not excited for the flight. Same, same, so, same. Bittersweet. Bittersweet, yes. That's a good way to describe it right now. Good. Show you. I'm very sad. Aloha. The, we'll see you later, buddy. Of, uh, departure. Bye. <laughs> 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 miss you guys. We love you. Mm. Please subscribe. <laughs> Aloha. Heard it here first, guys. All right, we are off. You guys, Sean. <laughs> Sean's flight's later tonight, so that's why he's not coming with us. I know. What sad time. A trip. Now we're heading on back. Last time, oh, we're gonna take in this view down the driveway for the last time. Oh, good time. And then we are headed to the airport. about six and a half hours it wasn't too bad now it was a long flight it's a little after 11. i can't wait to get home yeah we want to get home <laughs> i want to get back to finn so bad uh -huh. sweet michelle has been watching him we need to fill you guys in on that whole situation yeah but for now we actually need to go catch our next flight which, which takes is off our at, exact same flight that we just got off yeah it takes off at midnight luckily we don't have to run across all of lax which yeah. is really nice but we go on that and we're on it for about five hours, I think. Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Not too bad, but it's in the middle of the night. So hopefully we can get a tired. little bit of sleep <laughs> so we are not dead tired tomorrow. <laughs> We are back home. We're not officially actually inside the house. We are actually standing outside of our apartment because we are waiting for Michelle to come let us in with the key. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like death. I feel like death too. We've been traveling for like 12, 13 hours now. We are exhausted. So tired, but it feels so good to be back here yeah. in Florida. I want to rip off my sweat Oh, suit. I know. I just want to go hot. lay down. I'm tired of standing and holding my backpack i am tired of sitting i just want to go lay down we went to miami so we had an hour drive back it's like non-stop travel today but what makes it all better is we're about to see our sweet little spinners who we have missed so much plus michelle and nora no, oh my gosh it's gonna be so awesome to see them even though we have no energy that's gonna put a smile on our faces <laughs> and i actually think i see them coming they've been on a little morning walk Woo! this morning so there's Michelle and Nora and cute little Finn. I don't think Finn realizes it's us yet. <laughs> Brittany is recording it over on our Instagram. Make sure you guys are following us over there at Jared and Britt. Hi, Buffy! Hi! Hi, Jared! <laughs> Guys, 
We have officially gotten our nap in. We have gotten two naps in right now. <laughs> I woke up and I was like... It is currently 6 p.m. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I feel so bad. Yeah, would nap and Brittany would nap. Oh, yeah. And Finn's been so jealous this entire time. I know, sweet little Finn. Just <gasps> Hello! Right by my side, but he, this is sweet. He napped with me, too. Yes. Don't want to watch <laughs> 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 She's gotten so much older. I gotta just turn around. Look how cute she is. With Uncle Jared. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, oh. Are you just the cutest? She just wants the camera. But we honestly cannot thank my cute sister enough for coming all the way here to Florida to watch <laughs> Finn for us. Honestly, it was just so nice not having to worry at all about Finn while we were gone because we knew he was in the best care possible. And Show for the win, she's the best. She's honestly the best, you guys. She has our fridge fully stocked. Our apartment is spotless. This mommy, Nora, is just too dang good. I'm officially a dog rover. <laughs> <laughs> Taking yeah. inquiries, right. taking requests, you take me. <laughs> Preferably by a beach. <laughs> She's pretty <And> cute dog. <laughs> She's pretty selective of who she will watch. <laughs> Anyways, no. <laughs> but you guys, bonus is we get to spend tonight together Ooh. as well. Oh, so then fun. These two fly out super early tomorrow morning. So we are so excited we get to hang out with them tonight. Bad times because this is Michelle's last night. Although she could be back next week, who knows? But oh yeah. I love this walk, it's so sad. We would do this like two or three times a day. Even being in Hawaii, it feels so good to be back home here in Florida. It was quite a little bit of an emotional reunion, seeing these guys again, seeing Finn, being back home, it felt good, but we were also exhausted, as you guys know. We took two naps, and basically are wide awake right now, so we're gonna have a really hard time going to bed. Luckily, Michelle has a super early flight that we have to wake up for. So, kind of pans out nice for us actually. Finny, come here. And you guys, Finn is in heaven right now chasing all the lizards. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 